An Albuquerque city employee didn't come to work today after getting picked up on murder charges. David Ulibarri is a transit supervisor. Police say he and two other men are connected to a deadly shooting and possibly a biker gang. It's two down and one to go as Albuquerque police continue to round up suspects in a deadly shooting from the first of the month. The latest suspect arrested, David Ulibarri. He's before a judge for the first time. We did not locate any misdemeanor or felony history on Mr. Ulibarri's record, nor did we find any bench warrant or failure to appear. According to the police report, the 45-year-old Albuquerque transit supervisor, along with Jason Comitz and Ricardo Romero, went to this home on Rice Ave Northwest looking for Paul Rael. Rael was inside the home with his two sons. Police say the men got into an argument with Rael and his sons over a $30 meth debt that Rael owed Comets. That's when shots were fired. It sounded like popcorn. Twelve shots. The shooting left Rael's two sons injured and Rael dead. Police picked up Comets right after the shooting. Investigators believe Ulibarri and Romero have ties to a biker gang. Neighbors tell us the family moved out shortly after the shooting happened and they haven't been back since. Neighbors say the Rael family lived there for about a year. He was a pretty nice guy. I mean, he was, seemed like a good dad. He was always playing with his daughter and spending time with his kids. The city tells us Ulibarri will remain on paid leave pending the outcome of the investigation. And late tonight, Albuquerque police say the third and final suspect in the shooting turned himself in. Ricardo Romero has been booked into jail on an open charge of murder.